Hello from our new home in Iceland. We're still alive. <laughs> it was a good flight. Azalea did great. It was super smooth and then we got to the van place. Happy oh, man. campers. At like this. three in the morning for us too. Yeah, that's true. Which I don't blame her at all. But she lost her shit. She went bonkers. She was like screaming inside. Oh my God. She was getting really emotional and sensitive an emotional very easily. Man. We didn't have any snacks and everything was closed at the airport. But we've made it here. We made it through that. We're at the volcano. Fagradalslav Flor. Fag. It. We're over the moon. That's Just so the drive here. It was like 20 minutes. It was mind boggling. Yeah. Like, so beautiful. One side is cliffs to the sea. The other side is like this volcanic rock mountain. This is gonna be an epic trip. This is the first stop of many. And we'll give you a tour of our home at some point once we actually like settle in and stuff. But we're living in a van right now, which is even more amazing because we've always wanted to get van life a go. I'm into it so far. Azalea's asleep. <laughs> right there. So, hence the uh, monotone vibe. Excuse these two parents while they get some sleep. All right, you guys, I think we're feeling a little bit more refreshed. It is downpouring right now, so we're gonna wait till Azalea wakes up and hopefully the rain will have subsided at least just slightly so that we can climb this mountain over here and go see some lava. Just wanted to show you a little bit of our van. It's so in van life, it's rocks. Babe, we're selling the bus. God, are you serious with that Stasha? <laughs> Everyone trusts a man with a stash. Oh. <laughs> Let's get our lives together. How was your sleep? Oh, it's good. It's good. It's easy if you start from this side, too. Volcano hiking in the rain. I'm excited for a hike in the rain. It's a baby bed now. Yeah, it is. We made it. This is unbelievable. How close you can get. The smell, the fire, the smoke. How just immense it is. Wow, I've never seen anything like this in my life. Mom, how's it feel? Amazing. It's so cool to see it in person. It's also making noises that I never thought lava would make. Hey Zay. How do you feel about the lava? Good. It's a bit hot, baby. It's a bit hot. Here you go.
likes the way it smells. What's the smell like, Zach? It's bright eggies. I think everybody is getting hungry, cold, tired. We're gonna leave this geothermal egg smelling place. <laughs> and make some pasta in the van. Let's get our first big meal. Who's ready for pasta party? Hoody hoo! Looks like everybody needs personal time while we cook oh. dinner. Okay. Making us a prosecco also. <laughs> We got this ebook about Iceland that suggested that you buy any alcohol prior to being in Iceland in the duty free section. Buy four, get one free. Mm, for like three dollars a piece or something. Yeah. And then like a six pack of beer was like fifteen dollars, so pricey. Iceland! Free some of my balls up. <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice having heat. We have like the same heater as basically what we have in the bus, which is pretty sweet. Cheers? Cheers. Welcome to Iceland, baby. First day has been rough. No, it's been <laughs> Amazing. Great. It's just uh, a lot. It's a lot when you um, yeah. We're learning the ropes. We're when you're doing our... fan life, you're in a different country, you don't know where you're going, you have to be cold again, and then you have like a toddler. So Wetness. The jet lag. Yeah. But we're doing great. Yeah. Let's keep it up. <laughs> Water is boiling. Everybody talks about how expensive groceries are, which, I mean, granted, they are. But we were able to get a nice haul, like a mix of super simple ingredients like bread, some fruit, some veg, pasta sauce. Um, something that like hold us over for today and probably portion of tomorrow and that was like 35 bucks US. It's important that you have to watch out for what you're buying because I saw certain things that were extremely expensive. Apparently, it should be 31 years. She forgot to just strain all the water out of your pasta. Good idea, everybody. Uh, next recipe on Patreon will be pasta soup. <laughs> <laughs> Discussion, discussion, debate, topic, hot topic, hot topic. <laughs> Who's the shop there? Me. Okay, babe, tell them how you feel because I'm sure they will know how I feel. I'm not getting into that, but what I was just saying is it's 9 o'clock p.m. right now. Can you believe this? It looks like it's 10 o'clock a.m. Our co pilot crazy. is. I think she's back on schedule, so. Anyway, we're talking about baby Megan. We're not gonna bring you into the discussion completely. We're just gonna leave that, we're gonna leave it shrouded in mystery. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Rin? <laughs> <laughs> we saw these bars called the lava bar. It was described as this like, burnt flavor of lava or something and I was like that's a weird selling point and so ever since then we've been wanting to try it and so I was looking for it here at the gas station I guess this means lava in Icelandic incredibly crunchy looking it looks like lava actually rice crackers hmm sugar babe mm. Good afternoon folks, actually good evening, it's really late in the night, it's about nine something in the evening and the sun is setting beautifully behind us. We have arrived at our final destination for the day, going to the Crade Crater. It's right here which is really convenient, we don't have to walk too far because I think we're all quite tired. The campsite is only like a few minutes away from here so after this we'll just go pop over there and call it a night for our first soiree in the van. <laughs> You're done exploring today, huh? Just 
These are the moments in our lives when we take time to reflect. We look deep into the pool and we ask about the mysteries of the world. So we're on our way to our campsite and we've been collecting our recycle and rubbish from the day and we came across this place here with all this recycle and so we figured we'd just dispose and take care of it. Hey. Nice job on the back. Thanks. Because Ailey wants to sleep upstairs. So mom and pops get a super large bed downstairs. As you guys have probably seen, we were lucky enough to partner with Happy Campers. They really made this trip possible. They're a small family run business and they were pretty much the first camper van rental here on the island. Grabbed a shuttle from the airport, arrived at their facility and everything was smooth. Getting the vehicle, giving a breakdown of the island and things to think about when you're traveling around the island. Being able to have Wi-Fi when we're all traveling all around the island has been amazing we're riding in happy three which has got loads of space this is the first time we've ever been able to van life and it has been just an amazing experience if you're planning to come to iceland i highly suggest using happy campers it's the only way to van life around iceland you can use the code happy family for 20 percent off of any of the camper van rentals while you're here so this code is going to be able to be used until july 15th it doesn't matter when you schedule your trip if you schedule your trip for next year that's fine you can still use the discount code but it's going to be active until July 15th so you've got to jump on this this 20% off can also be combined with a variety of other discounts they currently have for example 13% discount for 14 plus day long rentals and 5% discount if you book three months in advance of your trip you guys know that for every cookbook that we sell we donate to One Tree Planted, which is an initiative to plant trees all around the world. And Happy Campers, is they actually do the same. For every camper van rental, they plant at least one tree here in Iceland. And so just a big shout out to those guys for sponsoring this video and making this entire trip possible. Go Zay, go. What's up? Where are we going? I don't know. Zay keeps talking about a hot dog. I don't even know why, because we never eat hot dogs, but she wants a hot dog. Why do you want a hot dog? I don't know. <laughs> my hot dog is my candy, which is my blues. Okay. First destination that we are headed to today is going to be the Cronin to go get, apparently, a hot dog for Azalea. And a couple of things like toilet paper for when I need to pee on the wild. On and the wild. <laughs> my she mom. She fell down and get a boo boo. She did fall down and get a boo boo. My mom was supposed to be joining us with my stepdad and they were going to be getting a van. I guess she fractured a rib and the doctor told her she couldn't fly. We miss you, Gigi. We do. We, we miss you guys and said you couldn't come, but um, we'll enjoy the cold weather and rain for you. <laughs> <laughs> and so with that here we go back on the road in Iceland which we have dubbed Rainland. It's actually quite beautiful. The it sun came so out this beautiful. morning and it's come back out again. It's like the lady said at Happy Campers, weather, you're going to see all of it. Everything in between. So I wanted to talk to you guys about van life, which personally I've been loving. Now, preface this with we've been spoiled with the bus. The amount of countertop space, the amount of storage space, everything. But to be honest, the van that we got, it's got tons of space. Even that little mini cooler fridge that we got, has plenty of space for us to store food for like maybe two days. Juby's been giving me a hard time. I'm a super, uh, what would you call anal. it, babe? Anal. She says I'm anal. 
on keeping stuff super organized and clean. I just can't stand it. It makes me all anxious whenever I come back to a space that's all out of order. Okay, maybe I'm a little bit anal, but that's okay. But yeah, anyway. it stresses me out, man. I'm in the middle of getting ready for breakfast and I take a banana out and I'm like done toasting my bread, put peanut butter on it, ready to put my banana on it, and my banana is MIA. And where is it? Back in the cupboard. I'm like, I'm literally in the middle of making breakfast and he's putting my stuff away. Not cool. <laughs> it's been really amazing having such a small space that we can also get to places really easily. Everything is just always stashed in its place and it's easy to just like go. Not having a toilet has really been annoying for me. Hey Zayda, don't be wasting the water please. Yes, because we need it to wash all these dirty dishes. Anyway, that's some insight on van life so far. Next, we're going to see a waterfall. Here's the name of the waterfall. I'm gonna get drenched and I'm okay with that. Are you gonna help wash the dishes? Cool. It's raining outside, we might as well just go. This is gonna be dry. Okay. Let's go. You're welcome, Pops. Welcome to the beauty of Iceland. Azalea is having her long anticipated sausage, which we found like a vegan vegetarian version with a couple of tomatoes. She's been snacking all morning on like Mom, peppers, and all kinds of things. Yeah, it's a little warm. We probably have to wait till it cools down. And pops. Oh, and I'm just chilling. I'm supporting the play over here. And I'm making some tomato soup. We have a little propane cooker, a pot, a pan, and some like spoons and forks and knives. We have one sharp knife, a couple of cups, and a mug. I actually don't think it's propane. Butane gas. Yeah, a little kitchenette area, which is, as you can see, since I'm sitting on the ground, is shoulder height. Everything that we need, all in one little area. Cooking with the waterfall behind us, and then also this epic river on this side, so it's pretty amazing. So we can have an epic view of. Move your head so I can see this cockerfoss. Sorry. <laughs> I think we'll camp here tonight. Is Aya still sleeping? So we figured this would be the perfect time to get some work done. So I am currently editing next week's video. I'm babes. Got it work. What you doing, babe? Accounting. <laughs> Fun. Alright peeps, the time has come as Aelia's awake and eating crackers. We're gonna go to the wood. See the sheep? Good morning, Azalea. Ah, 
so amazing to wake up to like the waterfall right here. Where's Azalea gone? I don't even know. Ah! Ah! Just to like be working next to this waterfall and then wake up next to it. It's just so mind blowing that this is now like our life. But last night was quite a hilarious night. We all just spent the entire evening basically watching movies on our phones. And nonetheless, we were all hanging out in the van. We stayed awake until past sunset. And I guess the sun just doesn't go down here. It's very, very confusing. And I think we've decided from now on to just stay awake much later and not force bedtime to happen at the regular time schedule which would be like around 8 8 30 ish um and we're just gonna push through and stay awake into the wee hours of the morning and that would probably make the transition back to the us a bit easier as well so that's that's what we're going for now we're gonna be night owls although there is no night here so we'll just be full-time day owls okay that's your foot it's a very beautiful foot oh there's your other foot hey say are you ready to go on an adventure today yeah. Where are we going to go? On a plane. On a plane? Pictures take pictures? And plane. Maybe you could take a video with the GoPro. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. Okay, well. Okay. <laughs> this might be too much for some men, but it is in fact my moon time. And of course it would be my moon time, like, <laughs> as of the first day of coming into the van. So that has been really kind of tricky just to navigate around like the lack of finding toilets that have also a sink because I use a reusable cup that I like to rinse every time I clean it out. That has definitely been an interesting caveat to consider, especially when you're doing van life without a toilet. Look at that. Oh. Nice sofa, you guys. Manicured and looking fly. Mm-hmm. Happy Sunday. Buddy. Happy Sunday, indeed. Azalea's enjoying van life. Whoa, Zay, where'd your head go? <laughs> We've been keeping all our bags and stuff up here since Azalea hasn't been sleeping up there. And then we just sort of stuff all the blankets on this end. What's Pops' real name? Destin. Yeah! What about, do you call him Babes sometime? Yeah. <laughs> it's quite funny. Babes, do you like it when she calls you Babes? No comment. It's time. Fill up the water jug. Been about three days. What's that gonna throw off? Not push away. This is the battery that we use to charge all of our devices on the inside. Solar panel up top. Only thing I probably would have done differently is tied the battery to the alternator of the vehicle so that when you're driving, the battery also charges. This place is just amazing. Everywhere in Iceland makes you feel so small and the world so grand. It's just incredible. She's being such a trooper on this trip. It's definitely been an interesting transition to do van life with a toddler. And she is also adjusting to 
this not being our actual home home so she's asked a couple of times to go back home and I think she's referring to red pepper so just the concept of being in a different space for a long period of time is an adjustment for her you know as is for anyone but uh, so far I think she's enjoying van life it's been nice we can park anywhere and it's easy to drive and the gas mileage is not so bad it's been fun Everybody is rested and ready to rock and roll. We've been parked up here at this beach. We're gonna go explore. I don't know, where, did, where is she? You guys came back before me. I don't know what happened. Ah! <laughs> I don't think I've ever experienced such intense winds. I was almost literally being swept over. <laughs> yeah, okay, so we're at our like third campsite for tonight. It's probably the most like fancy Bougie. looking. Yeah, and the showers and bathroom room areas are really warm. Uh, we were skeptical yesterday to use the shower because they had it set as a five minute timer for 400 of these kronos. Yeah. Oh, you're trying to zip it? Okay, yeah. stop screaming at me. We actually don't need to bring this to the shower room. I'll yeah. finish this off. So, <laughs> you get these hundred crone coins and you pop them in the shower, you get five minutes, boom, you're done. So the ladies are gonna go in there, clean themselves up, and then I'm gonna follow shortly after. Azalea has all the shower gear. I have the towels and stuff. We didn't plan to have like a bag to carry stuff in and out, so it would be helpful if you are camping, I guess, if you had like a little yes. carry bag to bring your gear back and forth. All right, while Pops finishes up his shower, Azalea and I have started working on some dinner at the Happy Campers headquarters, their office. They had like a bunch of free stuff that I guess was leftovers from previous campers. And so we found this, like a mushroom pasta, super quick and easy. And I'm gonna be adding some fresh mushrooms and spinach Happy to it. Campers, so hopefully guys. it'll taste delish. Happy Campers. <laughs> Ooh, it smells good. Yeah, this is where we leave you for our first episode of our Iceland extravaganza. Dinner, rum, a lovely campsite, and more adventures to come tomorrow. We will see you guys next week. If you were concerned you guys, about this being guys, the end of our guys. Iceland trip, don't you worry. <laughs> We've got more Iceland coming. See you guys. Have a wonderful week and say, say, stay happy. See you guys. Keep smiling. Life is good. Things are looking up. And remember see, to see enjoy you your day. See you guys. Bye. Pops say. <laughs> 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 Bye. <laughs>